The best Samsung phone just got better. What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So after doing a lot of research considering what's gonna happen in the future and what's happening now, I have decided that this is the best Samsung phone you can buy right now. It's not the absolute latest device from Samsung but something that just got better compared to when it was launched. So this original $1000 beauty currently costs around $5 to $600 range. It could be even cheaper considering where you live and at that price this definitely is the best Samsung phone to buy right now. The upcoming Galaxy S20 family are packing a lot of new features but when it comes to the price they are really on the expensive side which makes this phone an even sweeter deal. So what is the state of Galaxy S10 Plus in 2020? Well looking at this phone right now this phone was clearly ahead of time. You see Samsung introduced this punch hole design last year when everyone was doing pop-up cameras and notches. They knew that this is the ultimate direct direction for the future smartphone design and which is why this year you're gonna see phones from Oppo, OnePlus, Vivo, Huawei, all of them are going with a punch hole display. That really proves that Samsung was right all along and this really is the true smartphone design direction. So you're getting a beautiful quad HD 60 hertz display. I mean watching media on this phone still is an incredible experience. When this phone was first announced back in 2019 it was heavily suppressed like it was Goku in its base phone but now it is super saiyan level awesomeness all thanks to the new one ui software update it is based on the latest android 10 update and apart from all the new features and changes this phone does bring something really incredible to the table when it comes to the cameras when Samsung first announced this phone, there was no night mode, but now the night mode works with pretty much every camera mode, from front camera to back camera, ultra wide angle lens, and even in the zoom mode. You can actually take some really good photos using the normal night mode, but if that's not enough, you can try out the new pro night mode that is unlocked via software again, thanks to One UI 2.0, something Samsung should have done at the start that allows you to have ISO levels up to 3200 and shutter speed up to 30 seconds. So now you can do some cool astrophotography taking those pictures with stars and as long as you have a tripod you can actually come up with some really good shots. Camera is going to be the biggest change on the upcoming S20 family but that still doesn't take anything away from what we already have on this phone. It is still a very capable camera, 4K 60fps video with the back camera, 4K video with the front camera. You can even take front camera slow motion videos like it really doesn't let you down in any way possible and it all just got unlocked through the latest software update that Samsung has provided which is the One UI 2.0. Recently Samsung has launched so many devices it's kind of confusing especially the new S10 Lite. Compared to all that this still is a clearly better device so instead of the glass stick thing that they're recently using this is the true flagship design we have and perhaps according to a lot of people this is like the last best Samsung design on a Samsung flagship phone. Horizontal camera, Samsung logo, such a clean looking premium design. And of course, when we take a look at the downside of the phone, it's got the legendary headphone jack as well. Something people really liked about Samsung devices, which is something you're not gonna see in the future. So this really does make this phone unique. It will forever go down in the history as one of the most epic legendary Samsung designs ever. Now, as far as the performance is concerned, the Galaxy S10 Plus is doing a great job job handling all the applications and RAM management everything is really good. I actually did a speed test next to the iPhone 11 Pro Max and even after a year of usage it still keeps up everything really good. Even the Exynos model is doing really good. If you got the Qualcomm version then that's a better choice because you get a better GPU but like I said Exynos for most people will do the job well and honestly smartphone chips these days doesn't make that much difference. Even the upcoming Snapdragon 865 that is really awesome awesome on paper won't make a huge difference in real life usage. So most people won't be able to tell the difference, it still is really good speed wise and the gestures while they are not as smooth as what we have on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, they are still pretty good like they are workable I don't have any problem using them if you don't like the gestures you don't have to use it Samsung still give you the option to use 
the navigation buttons like the good old days. Now let's talk about the battery life. It's been a year and this phone still gets me through the day without any major issue. 4100 mAh cell is still keeping up. Everything good with my usage using social media applications. I'm not a big gamer by the way so it does get me through the day without any issue. It's definitely not as good as the iPhone 11 Pro Max when it comes to battery but like I said it does get the job done even now. The 3D in display fingerprint scanner is really fast and way better compared to what Samsung is doing with its optical scanners that we have seen on phones like Galaxy S10 Lite and the Note 10 Lite. Overall, for the money, it really is the best Samsung phone you should go for in 2020. If you can afford, then definitely do try the Galaxy S20 lineup. As always, most people won't be able to buy the latest and the greatest, so they have to go somewhere and honestly, compared to everything that Samsung offers currently, the S10 10 plus is the phone to go for thanks to the latest updates the camera the software experience is even better than ever and it's still got another year of major android update the android 11 r will come to the galaxy s10 plus so pretty much it has two years of life in it and especially after the galaxy s20 family launch this phone will get even cheaper so honestly it makes more sense now than ever before so yeah guys these were my honest thoughts regarding the galaxy s10 plus in 2020 and how it is better than ever for most people when it comes to the price when it comes to the value this phone really does come to the top still got it everything you need as always let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out